Yeah, going down to Florida is a great opportunity, not only mentally, but also physically. Just, you know, getting to escape the cold winter sometimes is a little nice for a week. You know, it really builds morale as the guys get to bond down there, play some new teams, and then, you know, come back and get right into league play. So not only having to deal with the heat and making sure our bodies are ready, but also just, you know, getting down there, getting the bond, and then jump right into league play and hopefully have a successful in-league season is going to be uh, really important. Sure, uh, you know, the, the Liberty League has been incredible for you know, for a while now, with RIT winning the national championship last year, we we almost always have four teams ranked in the top 20 in the country out of 270 teams. So every team we play in our league is is uh, a, a challenge. You certainly can't take any games off uh, for us to, to make the postseason. Our goal absolutely is to be able to, to be hosting a playoff game. Uh, so if it's the six-team playoff, making sure one of the top three seeds, um, making sure we're winning all of our out-of-conference games. So if we're not able to win the conference, we're able to get an at-large bid. Um, you know, obviously winning every game is our goal. You know, it's tough to replace a, a guy like Connor Bartlett. He, you know, he's the reason why he's top five in the scoring in the history of Clarkson lacrosse. Um, you know, certainly we believe that moving uh, Sebastian Geiger back down to attack is going to be is going to be helpful for us. Uh, you know, Brian Penny, we're expecting a lot out of Brian Penny. We're expecting, you know, some scoring out of our short stick D middies like, like uh, Max Hoffer. Um, you know, KJ Sarney needs to step up to the plate. We feel good about him. Uh, Matt Riley has really had a, a great preseason. Brennan Tersolo is back from a hernia operation. Uh, Andrew Kearney, we think, is a guy that, that can help us. Um, get some, put some goals in the net, and then we have uh, some young guys like Connor Holly and, and Vince LaVarnway that we think uh, may be able to help us a little bit in that, in that area as well. I think it's pretty seamless. I mean, if we're going to have guys that are in a leadership role for as long as they were, I think we can learn from that. I think coming up underneath them, they, they taught us everything that we need to know in the program, and I think we can keep going forward with the success.